Double. All right, what's up, everybody? So I want to follow up off of my uh, video yesterday just to let you all know that I did buy in at $151 this morning and some change. GME, I put a damn, not, not quite a hundred thousand, but pretty freaking close to a hundred thousand dollars on it. I am up almost fifteen thousand dollars in the green right now. The old me would have already sold GME, I would have already traded it off. The RSI on both GME and AMC are screaming overbought, they're screaming sell, 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 sell. I'm going to hold it for another minute, though. I'm going to hold it for another minute. And a lot of you dudes are like, hey, I thought you were done. No, I ain't fucking done. I just said I was getting the hell out of AMC for a fucking minute because many reasons. Techni technicals are better on GME, for one. I am going to day trade AMC, but I believe the better long play is GME. After doing my homework, the better freaking long play is GME. And a lot of you guys are thinking you're rubbing it in my face today because AMC is up a hair. But guys, AMC is the puppet and GME is the puppet master. Whether, whether you finally see this or not, I see it, okay? Um, but I did say AMC was going to bounce into $24 territory. And, you know, I was wrong. It hit 26 I believe. But now it's consolidating back down. But I will trade... The 4 to 5% once it levels off and it's back in the zone to where the hedgies have their control again, yes, it will continue to rotate in the 4 to 5%. It's not, the short interest is never, ever going to end on AMC. Or is it going to end with GME? The technicals look better, way better on GME though. Especially when they're trying to apply so much pressure to the hedge funds to get the hell out of their positions with 26, 27, and 28% short borrowed interest. Guys, that is pressuring. That is the broker pressuring the hedge fund to get the hell out. On top of that, I love Cohen. The dude is a leader. You know what I'm saying? Talk with money. You know, dump money on your own freaking play if you truly believe in. Adam Aaron, we bailed Adam Aaron out and a sucker walked with a lot of freaking money while we were all suffering and losing money. I, he's not a leader. All right? So I believe I'm in the right place holding, and I'm going to hold for a minute, even though, our, like I said, RSI says, no, dude, you're an idiot if you hold one more freaking day. Truly, guys, this thing is way overpurchased, and I know that. I'm going to hold it for one more day before I sell, and even if I take like a 4 or $5 loss from where I'm at right now, it's all good, because I'm going to study the hell out of GME, and I'm going to ace it. Now, you guys are forgetting maybe why you got in, like a lot of y'all are, again, throwing it in my face. Oh, you sold AMC. Yeah, I sold it, but I got in GME and I made, I made a fortune. But again, it comes down to you guys are here because of the short squeeze, the mother of all short squeezes, the MOAS. I'm, I'm totally convinced that that is a scam that's being played on the retail investor. The, the joke is on us. All right. That, that, so that is at the end of the day, if you're happy with the 25, 26, 27 with AMC, man, all the freaking power to you and hold and stay in. At the end of the day, this is not the MOAS. It's not even close to it, okay? I simply move to a better trade, I believe, that has technicals that in the long run will pay me more money. And that's why I'm in the stock market, because I want more damn money. That's all I got to say. Y'all have an awesome afternoon. Doge Warrior out, baby. Shaboom. Peace.
Shabu.